Hey guys, hey, 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 hey guys, um, welcome to the channel, my name is Tanisile and thank you for being here. So today's topic is about multi-dimension. What is multi-dimension? Yeah, what do people mean when they say I'm multi-dimensional? Basically what it mean, what they mean is that uh, they exist in other realms, other realities, other dimensions other than the one we the this physical form this moment right here the one we most of us know to be the only true reality which which isn't uh, we can change our realities uh, anytime we wish to anytime we want to we can do that Yes, because we are multidimensional, meaning we have different files. So let's say your life right now, the one you are experiencing, it's file number A. And then you do have file number B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Meaning you can pull any file you wish to experience right in this moment if you want to. If you are willing to do the work, you can't just toss everything aside. So when I say files, I mean different realities. Let's say you want to have a car, you want to buy a new car, you want to get married, you want to be, to have a good partner, you want to manifest money into your life, you want to manifest peace and harmony, you want to manifest um, being something, an uh, education of some sort, or a degree or something, you want to manifest those things. They do exist because already they are within you. You think about those things. So by you thinking of all those things, it means they already exist within you. They are there. Remember, there's absolutely nothing existing in this world than energy. Energy is all there is. Just energy. And it cannot be created, it cannot be created nor can it be destroyed. No. It's there forever so your past life it's somewhere there within the, those realms deep within us your uh, current experiences your past life your childhood upbringing your memories are there within you within your consciousness because you are your consciousness nothing else exists as, except for consciousness we are consciousness, and consciousness never dies. Consciousness is energy. It's the only thing that travels through space and time. Consciousness never dies. It was there before God created this world. <laughs> Your consciousness was already there. Um, so it holds all these memories. All these things exist within your consciousness because you are your consciousness. And your consciousness holds all your memories. All your experiences are there. They are not destroyed. They can never be destroyed. They are there within your consciousness, within your subconscious mind. They are there. So everything you think of, everything you want to manifest in this life, it's already there within you. So multidimensional, it's all these other different realities. Your past life, what you want to manifest, uh, your dreams, your desires, all, all of those things do exist within you. They are there already. Meaning if you think of it, it's like you are experiencing it. You are not here, you are elsewhere. If you... Think of uh, or and imagine yourself sitting in this dream car you want to buy for yourself. Imagine yourself buying it. Imagine yourself when you are in 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 within that moment when you are there feeling the feelings, feeling the emotions of having that new car. It simply means you are experiencing a different reality. When you have that car, it's there already. Yes, it's not manifested into the lower densities, it's into the physical form. There are things you need to do for you to manifest something different into the physical form. But it's there. So what you want, your dreams, everything is there. Right? 
so like um let's for instance let's say you have debts you want to pay your debts you want to settle your debts and you have this um really to where you have too much debts and your relationship is not going okay everything's not working out you have all those burdens you know so the first thing you do but usually what people do is they resist those kind of situation which is a heavy big mistake so they resist and when you have resistance you have to remember that resistance as as it's like it goes against the flow of the universe and when something goes against the flow it creates a heavy bondage Okay, but something, imagine something we are love. We can only be love. And now when you now start feeling hatred towards your reality, what are you doing? You're going to create a, something like completely different from the flow of the universe. Now it becomes a heavy energy because now you're not flowing. There's resistance. You are not flowing. you know and if you are not flowing like i said you create heavy energies heavy existence heavy resistance towards the flow you cannot move you cannot manifest different basically what you are doing you are or what you are experiencing or where you are basically it's being stuck in the very same situation you hate because there's no flow so if you need to release and manifest something different into this uh, physical form what you have to do you have to first first accept your current situation for what it is you have to accept it you have to allow it to be you have to surrender to it so that you can have a natural flow with your current situation and once you have a natural flow with your current situation guess what you can now release it smoothly. You can now release what you don't want to uh, uh, experience. Whatever you don't like, like whatever that reality can now fade away because you are flowing now. So when you are in a flow, it's easy for you to say, I don't want that. So when you're having resistance, it's like you are pulling something towards you. Resistance causes you to pull something towards you. You are not pushing it away. You are not letting it go you are pulling it because the flow is to love everything so when you go against the flow and you don't love everything you create a pull not a push a flow is a push but when you resist it means now you create a pull you go against the natural state of the universe the natural state of the flow you pull something towards you so it, when, once you have learned to detach from whatever it is, could be a relationship, listen, you are in a relationship, you are in a relationship and this guy or this girl did you bad and you had to let them go, they are gone or they dumped you, they discarded you, what have you, whatever. Um, and then they are gone, now you are wounded. You hate them. You feel like, oh, I hate this person. Instead of you accepting the fact that they were not good for you in the first place, now you develop this resistance towards what's happening. Now you have a resistance. You hate them. Like, I hate this person. I want to see them. Guess what? You are going to experience and attract the very same circumstances when it comes to relationships. Because you still have that wound from your previous relationship. You still have something you need to release. So you are going to experience the very same um, circumstance, the very same experience you had with your previous partner because the wound is still with you, which becomes a magnet to what you don't want to experience funny. So you need to let go and be in the flow. So and I'm saying this because I don't want people thinking, oh, I can just push this aside and then manifest something different. No, you need to clear the space for you to manifest a different reality. Does it mean a different reality is not there for you? No, not at all. It's there always, always, all the time. We can experience whatever we want. 
but then first we have to learn to flow with the universe once we flow and we have nothing we've cleared our way only then can we pull something different from the universe only then can we say hey come here new experience come here only then once you've cleared that out and you've healed yourself only then can you say oh i want to experience different i want uh, a soulmate if that's what you believe in i want those i want those only then can you say okay come here i want to experience you and then it can manifest only then can it manifest into your reality if you no longer resist having no money being broke if you no longer resist being broke only then can your financial situation change only then can it change once you are in the flow because um already what we want is already there it's there it's there with us energy it's all there is it cannot be destroyed no can it be created cannot be created nor can it be destroyed it cannot it's just there your consciousness is exactly who you are you have been living and experiencing life since the beginning of time your consciousness has been present since the beginning of time yes exactly i wanted to say this in the beginning of the recording <laughs> your consciousness has been here since the beginning of time and it holds your subconscious that is and it holds all these memories all the future all the future the past memories and the future desire future possible outcomes yes it holds everything so it's there for you your consciousness it's basically your subconscious your consciousness it's basically your higher self the one with the knowledge whatever knowledge you want to know the one with this infinite knowledge whatever you want to experience is there whatever you want to learn is there whatever you want to know is there right there within you within your consciousness within your your higher self within you yes it's just there so that is as the multi-dimensional when somebody says what is multi-dimensional another example um multi-dimension is is it's like when you have a connection with someone uh, could be a mother father uh, your child whoever if you guys are thinking of each other can be a soulmate uh, whoever your partner if you guys are thinking of each other because thoughts are basically energy and when you are thinking of each other you form a bond within the space and it's there it's your reality it's another reality as well that's your reality. that's exactly where you exist as well because when you have lost yourself in this emotions and the state and imagining yourself with this person and your mother or your whoever whoever can it be whoever it is if you imagine it's like you've lost yourself in that time and whatever meaning you exist you now exist as well within that space and that's our mind uh, it's, it's all that is it's, and it's energy our consciousness it's all that is we cannot see it we cannot touch it but it's there and it's real so thank you guys for being here yes 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 i wanted to share that with you today so i hope you like that I hope